Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to War on the Sea. In the previous encounter, episode 34, I had a bit of a bad accident happen with a couple of submarines and a couple of destroyers. Managed to sink one of the destroyers at the expense of two submarines on my part. So, not a great result, but fortunately I do have at least some command points so I can replace those losses. The question is, do I really need to? Because I feel like I have plenty of forces coming into the area. Both the Washington and the Massachusetts are on the way. Uh, somebody asked in the comment section of 34, uh, that's the previous episode, why don't you combine these two, the Massachusetts and the Washington Task Forces? Uh, my response is that I think it's too much firepower concentrated on one spot. I don't feel like I need that much firepower anywhere. Um, sure, it might give both groups a bit more safety, but considering that there are not that many heavy cruisers around, um, I'd rather be a bit more flexible in finding smaller groups which is potentially a few destroyers, and if I have one huge group of two battleships and all their escorts, I think it's just too much. So I'm not going to do with that. Uh, what I will do is bring the Enterprise back. It is midnight, or just past it, so no air operations at current. The Hornet is going to try to reinforce the Enterprise, which is heading back after having been damaged. Not seriously, but I still would like to have her behind a battleship group, to make sure that she can provide air cover while the battleship group can do actual, let's say, grunt work in the sense that they can do the damage. Now, task force, whatever it is, uh, I think it was not 17, but 19 maybe, that was operating over there. They had a run-in with the destroyers. I'm going to try and shadow the destroyers, ideally without really engaging them. And that way, at least knowing where they are, so that when the big boys do arrive, I can immediately engage. Now, it is back to 5 a.m. in the morning. We can start launching aircraft again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out a flight of just one Avenger, just a scout run. No armament is required. And we're going to send those, considering that they have that magnificent range of 540, do a scout run over here, because there might still be submarines around. Now, considering that that was just one aircraft, uh, yeah, I can immediately launch another flight, and that's going to be a flight of six Wildcats, which is going to stay close to this aircraft carrier to ensure that there are no aerial surprises heading my way. So that should keep the Japanese away from me, I hope. Hornet's ready to launch again. You're ready to scout. Enterprise is coming back. Uh, these guys... I thought I already offloaded these. I didn't. Oh, okay. Right, that was in the previous one in the, the episode that got lost. Supply Runner has unloaded all cargo at Rental Islands, putting 6,878 troops there, but they do need more supplies. So that's something that I'm going to have to send over, and uh, there are still plenty of supplies here, 12,000. So the Supply Runners, you guys are going to head back, and in about 60, 70 hours, we're going to be back here on station with more supplies. Right. Lavalette, still on the way to reinforce the... I think it was the Hornet. But the Hornet is zipping around the place. Making it a bit difficult to catch up. So I'm going to send the Hornet a bit further south. And let's see if the Avenger can spot anything. In the meanwhile, well, we're basically waiting for the rest of the guys to make it to the front line. Let's just see if there's any encounters happening. Nothing at the moment. Wildcats are landing. How long before we can launch? Oh, right now. I'll take it. Enemy aircraft spotted. Hey, we have found a submarine scout plane. At least that's my expe my expectation. Yes, my expectation. We're going to send you gentlemen out to intercept that uh, scout aircraft. And um, well, this one's almost out of fuel, which is unfortunate. Actually, you cannot make it that far. Yeah, yeah, I know it has to be resolved, but it doesn't really. You can just ignore that. Just wave as you pass it, I guess. Hornet, we're going to launch another flight. This time it's going to be a flight of um, three Avengers with depth charges. And I'm launching only three because I want to augment them with dive bombers. I'm going to have to wait 0.2 hours to do that. 
because I found that just attacking with the Avengers and their depth charges is not always that useful. Whereas if I have another flight of six dive bombers, I probably will be able to sink them. Hornet, we're going to set a course east, away from at least what I expect to be the location of the submarine, where I expect it to be a bit more to the northeast. Oh, sorry, northwest. Yeah, it's just going to take these boys a while. An aircraft spot it. There it is. Next to the Dauntlesses. Huh. It's not necessarily bad news. I just need to see where it's going. So we're going to ignore. Uh, any hits begin. We're going to ignore and see where this plane is going to lead us. Of course, now it's going to be off the map for the next 60 minutes of in-game time. Uh, you can come home. Wildcats. Ah, there it is. There it is. Alright, you guys are going to go uh, more or less back to the aircraft carrier. Whoops. Not so fast. I want the Avengers to course towards the sub, and I want the Dauntlesses to do the exact same thing. We're going to do an attack with nine aircraft. In case it dives, we're going to throw some depth charges, and we're going to initially attack with the Dauntlesses. But ideally, both at the same time. Okay, gentlemen, let's go. Spot me a submarine, if you will. Map-wise, it was here, but it's never quite at that location. Dauntless flight. Attack. There's another Dauntless flight of two. Attack. Um, I'm not sure if Vic is the right formation. Maybe line abreast is better. Attack. Line of rest, form up. And then these other guys. Maybe, considering the location of the Dauntlesses relative to the Avengers, I need to hold off for a second. So we're going to cancel the drop. I'm just going to cruise around here for a second. And the same goes for the other guys. I'm just going to cruise around here for a second, waiting for the Avengers to catch up. I hope that the submarine isn't going to get spooked and just immediately start diving. But it usually takes them a while, so we might have an opportunity here. Get rid of it. Make sure it doesn't form up on any attacks or form up any attacks on convoys that I have running around. Because that is something that I don't want to happen. That supply runner convoy is critical. And if I have to rebuy cargo ships, it's not that bad. But I really don't want to keep doing that. I also don't want to keep doing this. Guys, get away. You got there a bit too early. Alright, you can commence your attack. Dauntlesses. You can also commence your attack. And you guys can commence your attack. You're mm. all oh shit, we lost them. I waited too long. Ah, that sucks. Did you drop? You did. Well, we might have hit something. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> what are you even dropping on? Is this just... <laughs> Either the game knows something I don't, or... <laughs> that submarine might actually get damaged. Report? No, submarine doesn't give... A shit about that. Okay, lesson learned. Don't let your aircraft loiter. Attack right away. That was a complete fail. Gentlemen, we're going to return to base and we're going to try that again. The Avenger there is out of fuel. We're going to launch another one to try and find yet more submarines. Considering I know more or less where they are. You know, we're just going to send a flight of... Uh, yeah, why not? 12 Dauntlesses. I'm not expecting anything else. And we still have a good day of daylight left. The Enterprise, by the way, can also launch her aircraft. And they might be able to assist the Hornet in her hunt against submarines. It's 
It's going to be out of the fight for a while. Hornet, we're going to move east. Oh, really? That's interesting. These guys are a long, long way from home. It's possible that they made it all the way from Shortland Islands, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I think that these are fighter aircraft launched by some aircraft carrier operating around here. Now, that's really bad news for the Dauntlesses. Uh, all of them. Although I believe... Yeah, we have some of them heading out and some of them coming back. Can we just leave the battle? Yeah, good. Okay. It still does mean that we need to find something over there. Uh, you gentlemen. Can you still make it there? No, you can't. RTB. We're gonna have to launch another flight of Wildcats to prevent any air attacks on my strike packages here. And there very well might be an aircraft carrier and I really need to find it. Keep searching for that submarine. There it is. New course. Tactical. How close? 5,000 yards. There. Alright, old Dauntlesses, commence your attack. Um, as for formation? I don't really know. These guys are lining up from the front. You know what? I really don't want this guy to escape. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Form up. I want you guys to come up in a line ahead. And then go on the offensive. Which... Oh, they, they do that solo anyway. Never mind. Okay, off you go. We got a submarine to kill. We're going to attack it from three different vectors. And hoping that by that it's not going to escape. Looks like the bow dive plane's already... Yeah, they're definitely trying to dive here. They are not interested in coming under air attack again. Although they might be laughing their asses off at the way that I handled it last time. Trying to line up the perfect drop, and by doing that, not really getting an attempt to do that, because I wasted too much time. Alright. Drop it. Hit. Out of the amount of bombs that I dropped, it's not very successful, though. Oh, she's diving. Contact lost. Critical damage, though. Oh. That is interesting. That's really interesting. So that one bomb drop, I think, that hit it might actually be the one that kills it. I'm not seeing it go to the surface yet. It's probably waiting to see if the damage can actually be repaired. There comes the emergency blow. Is that enough to get you to the surface? Don't, Lucies. I might need you again. Nope. Target down. Job well done. Submarine killed. Okay. Well done. You guys can RTB. The other Dauntlesses from the Enterprise still looking for a target. And Hornet, can we launch? We cannot, because you just retrieved a whole bunch of aircraft. Okay. We have to find the origin point of those fighters. We gotta know where they came from. Oh. Okay. That's potentially the scout from the aircraft, or from the submarine that we just killed. Hornet, we cannot stay at this location. Head south. These guys still have a good maneuverability. Good amount of endurance. Hornet. Point four. Where's that thing going? Nowhere. It's just sort of staying in its spot. On station over the Hornet. She's really not where I want it. 0.8 hours because... Ah! We just retreated to flight. Tactical. 
That might be the origin. Everybody. Pay attention. We are going to form up. This is going to be one huge fic if it works. I'm just not sure if it's useful or not. I just want to see it though. Make a huge fic. Where's the sub? Right side. Oh, look at that. Still though, I don't think it's going to be particularly effective. Considering that we would have a lot of spacing between the bombs. So it looks great. Is it useful? Probably not. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Warm up. Actually, maybe groups of three might be better. So that's one Vic. Four, five, and six is another. Seven, eight, and nine is another. And ten, eleven, and twelve is another. Now, all of you, we are going to attack the submarine, preferably before it's able to dive away from the conflict. It's not diving yet. It doesn't have its dive planes ready yet. Interesting. We mu oh, there it goes. Now it's aware of the threat and it's trying to dive. You just saw them angled down. This means that we do not have a lot of time. Here comes the first group of three, the second group, the third. Where's the fourth? Oh, they're farther behind. Okay. My thinking is here, if I have a smaller formation of just three aircraft, there's less spacing between the aircraft. And hopefully we're going to be a bit more accurate. Hit. Excellent work. How bad was it? Heavy and critical flooding. Could kill her. Uh, flight 7, do not drop. I say again, do not drop. Flight 10, do not drop. Or did you already... Yeah, you guys already released your payload. That's unfortunate. This time around, I don't have eyes on the submarine, so I'm going to have to be a bit patient. Seeing if I killed it or not. Let's see, you guys, I can basically get out of the area. I'm going to keep the flight of seven around, because they still have their bombs. And the flight of 10 as well, because they might be able to strafe. I just don't want to have the whole area filled with planes. So we're just going to be looking at this Dauntless for a bit. Waiting to see if the submarine is going to come up for air. Or, well, something like that, or not. You know what? While you're at there... I might not always agree with how the game treats certain things, but I think it still looks spectacular. Considering that sub had critical flooding, it's probably too heavy to come back up to the surface. So what's probably happening is it's trying to die, or it's trying to surface. It can't. It's trying to do an emergency blow. It can't. And it's probably going to sink. It's either going to completely flood or reach crash depth and get killed. I don't think we're going to see it here. Heavy damage, critical flooding still. Now we are... Actually, we are more or less above where that submarine was supposed to be. I don't think it moved much, considering it had heavy damage. I'd say it's a fair assumption to say that it might have had its engines knocked out. I can't see it, though. You have to be a bit patient. And a little while later, we get the confirmation. Target 1 is sinking. Job done. We can go home. Submarine sunk. Now, I'm getting curious. How many do they have left of that kind? Because initially, they had quite a few. But I think they're starting to really limit their numbers. I'm not sure if it was a B1 or a B2, but they got 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven of the B1 left. The B2s. Two. Okay. So if these were B2 subs... See, they both have that, that launching ramp for scout aircraft, so they can both send those out. I'm not sure which one it was that we sank. We can check that. B1s. So they're starting to suffer, those B1s. Okay, very good. You can RTB to the Enterprise. Still leaves us the question, what sent out the fighters? You know what, I'm just going to go to tactical. I'm going to shoot that thing down. Everybody go alert. That is very much not what I was expecting to find. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, form up. Circular. I'm going to try and get the ships closer together. So that hopefully we can share our NTR efforts. I was not expecting dive bombers. At all. I thought we were just going to take down this one scout aircraft. I got really, really lucky here. Slow down. Not everybody's going to be able to catch up to you like that. My hopes with the circular formation is that we're going to make such an anti-air box that it's going to be really difficult for the enemy ships or for the enemy aircraft to approach. Whether that will work uh, remains to be seen. Because most of the time I'm just going in a line, which is mostly to deal with enemy submarines. But since most of those are eliminated, an air attack becomes a much bigger deal now. I'm thinking we're going to have to do this circular pattern a bit more. Speed up while these guys re realign their formation. Range, 15,000 yards in closing. I was thinking of increasing speed, but I think it doesn't matter. Range 6,000 yards. They're going to come in right about now. Here we go. Inbound Japanese dive bombers. There. Considering their vector, I think they're going for the strong. So we're going to turn over to starboard, hoping that we're going to postpone the moment that they strike the strong as long as possible, and thereby allowing our NTR as much time as possible to take them down. Of course, this is very much Atlanta territory. This is what these guys excel at, as NTR cruisers. I just want to actually see them shoot something down. Early. I'm getting drops. Strong is heavily turning, trying to make for a difficult target. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just didn't catch that. Oh, dude, that was too close. They splashed all over the place. That was... That was threading a needle right there. But it also goes to show just how effective anti-air fire is. We really need fighters up there to intercept these birds. Because our anti-air is not up to it. Because we only shot down one. And of course the scout aircraft. But one of these guys was shot down. Between all these ships and their anti-air efforts, one of them was shot down. I think that's quite underwhelming. Oh well. Just redouble the interior efforts. Although this was the Hornet, and the Hornet was constantly retrieving and launching aircraft, so she really couldn't launch anything. Why is aircraft 3 sticking around? 
Are you just taunting me now, or are you actually going to do a strafing run? Because you don't have any bombs. That much clear. Australia's main guns aren't going off, of course, because they're not dual purpose. Dual purpose 8 inch guns. Hmm. Maybe a bit much. But that one aircraft's preventing me from leaving this battle. With these guys too, I'm very curious to see if I can follow them home, but they're probably going to be in that same 60 minute or 30 minute timeout zone where they just disappear off the strategic map, so I couldn't follow them even if I wanted to. Which sucks. These guys appear to be heading back to the northwest, but I don't think it means anything for the larger strategic sense. It's not like there is an aircraft carrier to the southwest, because this guy is heading northeast. And now also very northwest. Hmm. Very suspicious. All of these sudden air attacks from both fighters and dive bombers at this point. Where are the Japanese carriers? Maybe I need to recall some of the submarines that are currently more or less stationed outside of a ball. Because these might be capable of spotting at least the aircraft carrier. Not necessarily engaging it, but just serving as a spotter. So I can vector either battleships or submarines or, well, more submarines or aircraft to it. No damage. Excellent. And the Hornet's minor damage was already there. Right. When can we launch? 0.6. It's quite long. So let's say that they are, in fact, to the northeast or northwest. We would put a carrier group somewhere around here. Or it's still that group from the Shortland Islands, that airfield over there. I'm still not positive that it's not these guys. I cannot quite exclude them from my target... Well, from my list of possible sources, shall we say. I'm considering, actually, since the Enterprise is pretty safe, I'm considering the front line to be here, close to the Hornet. If I... Hold. Um, if I detach the San Juan, Oakland and Jenkins and O'Bannon from the Enterprise, I can send the Enterprise and the Chevalier back for repairs. That would bolster the Hornet's defenses, especially against air attacks and submarine attacks. Then wait for Washington and Massachusetts to come in, and then we're going to go hunting. Because I don't think that there's anything between the Enterprise and the base right now. So let's do that. Let's detach these guys, split group, set a course for the Hornet. They're going to arrive there in six hours. Hornet, you're going to meet them a little bit closer to the southeast. Crap, there's another group. Hornet, can you launch? Yeah, Hornet, please. Yes, you can. All the Wildcats. Begin the battle. Raider on, everybody. Oh, crap, I forgot that I should have put these guys in box formation. In circular formation. Because they aren't right now. Circle up. Slow down. Incoming fighter strike. Everybody here? Wildcats. Attack. Yeah, just basically everybody. Target. Off you go. Let's have these guys join in. And thereby much, much more anti-air activity than what I had before. I just hope my anti-air doesn't accidentally... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Now my anti-air doesn't accidentally shoot down my own wildcats. I'm not sure if friendly fire is a thing, but I've already seen that friendly collisions is a thing. Oh, there we go. Three aircrafts are down. Now they're hunting down another. Aircraft one down. Aircraft two. Still out there. <laughs> All these wildcats going mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Well done, gentlemen. Thank you very kindly. Four aircraft launched, four aircraft lost. Right. I think we're going to spend another episode looking for these aircraft carriers. That's going to be episode 36, coming up soon. Thank you for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon for the next one.